Now, percents are something you run into all the time. You see them in ads, you see them wherever you go, and what do they mean? Well, they represent a part of another number. Just like fractions and decimals, we are looking at something that involves finding a part of something. But decimals and fractions have very definite rules. Percent doesn't mean anything until it refers to the value of another number. So the percent is a value based on some other value and changes with that value. An example, 15% of 60 is what number? It turns out to be 9. Okay, Or 15% of 400 is what? It turns out to be 60. But notice the 15% is the same. But its value changes because of the other number. And so you have to remember percent is always changing. So how would we solve this, though? There's a very simple way to solve that, going back to what we just learned about ratio and proportion. So what you do is you set up a simple proportion like this. You have 100% and you have another percent sign. Now, you put the 100% because you are always going to provide that number. The other problem will have two. So you look and see, is there a number with a percent sign here? Yes, it would go 15, would go here. And you look, okay, um, is there a number after the word of? We're looking for the whole value, 60. So we'll say 60 is here. Now we're going to take, we're going to multiply 15 times 60. Cross multiply these two. That's 0. 5 times 6 is 30. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 6 is 6. That gives me 900. I divide that by 100. You cross multiply these two, then divide it by the other one, and it gives you the missing value, and the missing value turns out to be Nine, same as I had here. The same thing would happen 15% of 400. All we do is go back to the original problem, change these two. And what's the number we have for percent here? 15. We put it back in again. We look for the number after the word of is 400. That has to go over here. So it represents the whole amount. 100%. We again do this. So we end up cross multiplying and dividing again. So we go 15 times 400. That gives me 0, 0, 0, 6. Okay, and I am going to divide that by what? I have this one, I have it set up at 15 and by 400. So 400, or 100, excuse me, not 400, 100. Gives me what? 60. Okay, I move the decimal point over two places and I end up with 60. So this one would be 60. So there you have it. So this is one way of solving percentage problem. There are several other methods which you'll get familiar with if you get into a classroom where they will discuss percentages in more detail. However, this is a really quick and easy way to do that, and you can solve any percentage problem using this method. The thing to remember is a percent only has value in reference to another number. Just like here, 15% of 60 is 9, 15% of 400 is 60, so they have a different value depending on the other number that they're a part of. Okay?